Nice deep breath. Today is Friday, August 7th, 2020. Happy Aloha Friday. Gong practice number 122. Today has been a great day. Got up, took care of some work. Went into the 90 minute float tank sensor deprivation. Gotta meditate and disconnect and reconnect. Disconnect from this body, but reconnect to the source, to whatever we're all connected to. Get into a state of fully consciously aware that I have a body. Notice my body, but it's frozen. Not cold, but just doesn't move. It's in the water, perfectly still. Not even not even aware of my breath. Just being aware. And then I drift into this place past thought. The void. Complete emptiness, nothingness. Or everything vast. Dark, but not bad. Not evil dark, just empty and in that emptiness I feel reconnected my mind just stopped and as I came back to my body it was what is today where am I at I'm trying to recall oh it's Friday I'm in a float tank I have gong to do and I have yoga and so after this gong practice I got yoga here in two and a half hours yoga for 90 minutes so today is a day full of time for me 90 minute float tank 30 minute sound journey 90 minute yoga three and a half hours of the day dedicated to putting working on me gotta put time in on myself no one else is going to do it for you or for me however you want to receive this message you can um, I'm going to go ahead and start playing. If you're new to this, welcome. If you're not new, welcome. Either way, welcome. Thank you for being here. Uh, I'm going to start playing the gong. I recommend eyes closed, noise canceling headphones if you have them. And just focus on your breath. If you want to be wide awake and watch me play, you can do that. If you want to do other stuff around the house, go ahead. But do not, I recommend not listening to this while you're driving or operating any heavy equipment. You may zone out and don't need any of that. And, uh... You just come and focus on your breath, and you can focus on your breath any way that you like to. Any way that works for you is great, but what I do, what works for me, is I inhale through my nose, and I imagine my breath as a white light. Just like white light of love, white light of life. It's just the light. That's how I imagine it. And I inhale through my nose, and that as the air travels through my nose to the top of my head, I, it goes down my spine, and it fills my belly, fills my chest, and I pause for a moment so that white light's expanding inside of me completely feeling my cavity with this breath, this energy. And after I pause, I exhale, forcing the air out of my chest, out of my belly, tightening my abs to get a physical connection to my breath, leaving my body. As I force the air out, the breath goes up out of my nose, but the white light travels down my spine, tailbone, legs, and feet. So I'm forcing this nice breath that I brought in all throughout my body to recharge my entire body with the air that I'm bringing, breathing in. And it's just as simple as imagining the air traveling everywhere, everywhere, imagine the light traveling everywhere and you feel your body come back full of life. And you focus on your breath three to five times is all I need to do and then I'm off into wherever the sounds take me. And you may hear things different than just gong, you may bring about different sounds you're not even sure of, you may visualize things, you may, your body may twitch, it may be little, you may need a cough or sneeze or something, right, just, just do it, accept it, let it happen, let the sounds move you, that's what they're doing, they're supposed to be moving you, they're moving energy, realigning, reshifting, putting things back into harmony with each other, a lot of us are walking around not in harmony, our bodies aren't in harmony with ourselves, Stuff's not flowing the way it should flow. The connectivity's not the strongest. And so, time for a recharge. And that's what these gongs, that's what this gong does. That's what gongs do. The sound recharges, reconnects, settles everything. 
you can do some research yourself if you like. Google, YouTube, gong, sound bath, blood samples, something like that, and you'll see. It's all stuff you can look up. It's verifiable. Most people don't look into it because they don't even know. I didn't know about it until three years ago. Two and a half years ago, I guess. December will be three years. But I'm blessed to know about it and I just want to share it with everybody because it works for me. So It works for me and so every day I make a video and now I need to start playing. So go ahead and focus on your breath. And I'll wake you up when it's done. It sounds like the birds might be joining in today, which is lovely. So I'll open up this screen door. Maybe some more birds will hear the sound better and we'll get some of that sound going in some nature in this sound journey. So thank you very much. 30 minutes. I'll wake you up when it's done. Focus on your breath.
Slowly bring your attention back to yourself. Nice deep breath in through your nose. <sighs> Wiggling your fingers and toes. Reaching your arms overhead. Rolling your wrists and ankles. Whatever you need to do to come back into yourself, do so. Give your moment to appreciate yourself. Taking this time, these 30 minutes, just of the sounds, to be with the sounds. Don't know what you heard, don't know what you felt. So if you'd like to comment below, please do to share so other people can see what other people feel or hear. It's just a collection of experiences. That's all we are in these physical bodies. So we might as well share and learn from one another. At least that's how I think we should be or what I want to do. I guess it doesn't matter what we should be. It's what I want to do and it's how I learn. I think other, it would help other people if we shared more. It's like show and tell when you're a kid. My name is James. This is a gong I play it every single day. See, it's not that hard. We could all share something about ourselves that other people may not even know about. And most likely if it's about yourself and you never share it with other people, then they won't know about it until you share it. Anyway, um, thank you for thank you for being here. Thank you for listening, making a new video every single day. Like I said, this gong video 122 going to 365 at least, doing it for a year while I'm in front of my gong. If I happen to not be near my gong, then I won't be playing, obviously. But I'll do 365 videos because why not? my life I make this stuff up anyway um, also want to share the five principles of Reiki every single day I keep these fresh in my mind because it is just about today let me share these with you just for today I will not anger just for today I will not worry just for today I will be grateful just for today I'll be kind to others and just for today I'll focus on my work it all comes down to today it all comes down to personal choice that's what it is, it's free will, right? You choose how you want to be, you choose how you want to act, you choose what you want to say. It's all choice, nobody can make you angry. You choose to get angry. Learned a lot of things over, I mean, I guess my life. I'm share some things helped me recently is don't have expectations. Expectations lead to frustration because when they don't happen the way you want it and you're frustrated about it and that just affects you. Accept more. I'm not saying you should lower your expectations. You should just be mindful that not everybody's capable of doing things exactly the way that you want it done and they're not going to do it at the speed that you can do it if you excel in a certain profession or whatever so I just figure people just do half as much as I can do half as much and by doing that I'm actually always excited because they do more than half better than expected because I lowered the bar and I'm not saying I'm lowering it to make it easier on other people I'm just lowering it because there's no reason to be frustrated about stuff refigure the numbers make it work everything's there you can Anyway, I'll go on a long tangent about stuff that doesn't even matter. Perhaps it does matter. It matters to me, so it must matter. As I get sidetracked in my own thoughts, I need to take a breath. Yep. There we go. So, uh, spread love, smile, laugh more. Laugh more, love more, smile more. That's how I like to end my videos. I think it's what we need. As I'll say, I share in a lot of videos, is that we need to be more generous. Greed is the biggest problem in this world until everybody understands that and recognizes and realizes that what we can do to help other, each other, we're going to be in the dilemma we're in. This world, this, this is 2020, it's the year of clarity, it's the year of perfect vision, and that's what's happening is around the world we're all now seeing what things have, have been happening for so long and we're becoming aware of it, consciously aware of what's been going on for so long and some of it's really hard to swallow. And a lot of people are in disbelief because they couldn't ever believe that certain things were taking place this whole time, but they are. And so I think it's a time for us to come together as a race and realize that 
number one, there is only one race, it's the human race, that you can't, everything else is ridiculous, labels and names and everything else, we're just all humans, we're all in these bodies trying to figure it out, why we're here, I think I know why, but everybody else has their own opinions about why we're here, but I do think we can do better as a society, and as we think about like the Pentagon just releasing that they did find alien craft, craft and not this from this universe. So obviously we know we're not alone. This isn't a one-stop shop, this earth. There's pl there's smart, intelligent life el elsewhere on, out in the foreverness of forever, right? It's infinite out there. That's what's crazy about it. I mean, they say there's more stars out there than there are grains of sand on the beach. How's that work? Mind-blowing. So if that's all there, and that's all true, and we're not the only intelligent beings out there, and there's more intelligent beings out there, then you have to understand that we are aliens to other planets, to other solar systems, other galaxies, other beings. We are aliens. And they are aliens, right, to us. So Elon Musk is working on going to Mars and all this stuff, and all these people are going to go there, and we're going to go to Mars with what? Our crappy knowledge, or the way we treat each other, the way we treat people, the way we, the way our human races, shouldn't, shouldn't we take care of our planet? Shouldn't we be in harmony with each other before we explore other places? Shouldn't we make this place better? Can't we be better to one another? I think we can. It all starts with the people. It all starts with one another. It all starts with personal choice. It all starts with people to stand up and say, "I'm not gonna. I'm gonna take care of myself. I'm not gonna let you control me." You gotta take care of yourself, you gotta fill your cup, you gotta love yourself. This world's gonna know, it's gonna be crazy. It's all coming, it's all coming soon. I wish I could elaborate on everything that I think is gonna happen, but some of it's just better left unsaid and just watch it unfold. Because that's what I'm here, just watching this unfold and just enjoying all of it because I know it needs to happen. There's going to be some stuff that's not the greatest for a lot of people. I'm sorry, it's just what it's going to be. But it needs to happen for us to wake up. For us to wake up as a society, as, a, as humanity, and take care of one another. It's nothing but love for everybody. Freedom through abundance. Abundance and love for all. That's my motto. That's the way I think. I'm going to help. I'm going to do my part. Because I can. Not because anybody's making me. It's simply because I choose to. I have to do it because I choose to do it. That's the why. So what else am I going to do with my time? I Let's do something fun. Let's change myself. And see if my changing me, what kind of ripples that creates in the lake of life ocean of life. I'm going to make some tidal waves. That's what I'm going to do. Make some change. Bring about change with other people. I'm not going to force it upon anybody. I'm just going to show people how it can be done. And if people want to say, hey, that's a great idea. We should do that too. Great. If people choose not to do that, that's fine too. Step number one, start a business. Empower people. 50% of the profits go to their people. That's step one. You want to make a difference? Start giving more. We're going to see how this year is going to go. Two more months. We'll see how we're doing for profits and how much money is going to be given to half our, or half, how much money we're giving away to our crew. Co-workers. I'm excited about it. I can't wait. That's what you can do. If you're watching this, you own a company, take less, give more. You want the world to be better, then you got to be better. Not better than anybody else, but better than who you were yesterday. Simple as that. And that's me every day. Working on being better than who I was yesterday. Being kinder than how I was. Being more generous more loving, more open-hearted, love more, laugh more, smile more. Thank you very much for listening and I appreciate it. I'll make another video again tomorrow and uh, we'll see you then. So have a great day. 
<sighs> Off to yoga in a little bit. I love my life.